Many people get stuck at the beginning phase where they can't make up their mind on which investment platform to go with and eventually just get so caught up with their daily lives that they did not start investing at all. I hope today's video as I share my thought process on how I eventually came to choose my investment platform to go with, you can narrow down and choose yours to start today. The two most common things that people look at is security and pricing. Watch all the way to the end of this video, I'll share with you one more bonus thing I've realized that people should be looking into as well. By security, I mean how safe is the platform. If you're looking to invest into the Singapore stock market, the first question you should be asking yourself, do you want the stocks that you buy in the Singapore stock market to be held under your name so that you're not subjected to platform risk, but in turn, would you be willing to pay a high fee for it? High fees will eventually eat up your investment returns. This is only applicable for Singapore stocks. I've covered this point in this video, which I'll link up above and down in the description box below. Or you just want to keep the cost of investing as low as possible with some of the established low-cost brokers available in the market one like Mumu Singapore, which became my choice of broker to invest with since early 2023. It's not because I'm an affiliate partner with them, I chose them well before I was a partner. I'll share with you how I eventually chose Mumu Singapore and you'll be able to take that thought process to choose your broker. I first listed out a few platforms and I narrowed down in terms of the cost of investing with them. Most platform was charging around the same, if not higher, for the Singapore stock market. Commissions and platform fee, it was a total of 0.06% of the traded value, minimum $1.98 per order. Trading and clearing fees were charged by SGX, so they are the same for all platforms. Since prices were the same then, what drew me in to search further was their promotion for one year free commissions trade in the Singapore stock market, making them one of the cheapest platform, if not the cheapest platform to go with back then. The promotion is still running for new users as well. I've heard of them well before I started my investment journey. I mean, they're known in Singapore, with one in four Singaporeans investing on their platform. And just not long ago, they've crossed the milestone of having one million Singaporeans on the platform too. All that being said, with low-cost brokers, the shares you buy are held in a custodian account. They are not held under your name and you have to look into what that company is all about because of that. Mumu's parent company is Futu Holdings, a fintech company founded in 2012 by Leaf Lee who was the 18th founding employee of Tencent the largest tech company in China. Futu Holdings also eventually got listed on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange in 2019, which also means that they are highly regulated. And with my experience recently flying down to Nasdaq's office in New York, it definitely boosted my confidence level in the company as a user. I got to witness Momo's global strategic partnership with Nasdaq to support retail investors like us with tools and educational content to help us make more informed investment decisions. Momo is not just available in Singapore, but in other countries like US, Australia, Japan, Malaysia, and even in Canada. Over the years, they have also strived to improve the platform in many ways, and this time, the tool they have launched is Nasdaq's Total View. Helping investors forecast price trends accurately with up to 60 levels of bid and ask exclusively on Mumu. Investors can also optimize the time they choose to buy and sell with the intuitive depth charts. With Nasdaq's in-depth data, it reveals trading opportunities. Mumu Singapore is now offering everyone three months free access to Nasdaq's total view. More details, I'll leave that down in the description box below. Needless to say, they are also regulated by MAS in Singapore. Anyways, beyond my recent experience witnessing the partnership, it's finding out about a company that will give you a sense of security and confidence being a user and an investor. So with whatever platform you choose at the end of the day, make sure you do your research on who they are, what their company is all about, and what they're going into. Now let's talk about the bonus tip. As a beginner, apart from pricing and security being the most important thing to look at, the platform has to also be user-friendly to make investing feel easy for you. If the learning curve is too steep, you will not even start. No matter how great of a platform they are, how safe it is, or how cheap it costs to invest with them, you will never start. And with Mumu Singapore, they have the best interface I've experienced with thus far. And trust me, I have jumped around to different platforms to try and start my investment journey. I personally only use their mobile app. I go in daily to see the stock prices during Singapore trading hours or in the middle of the night when I wake up for the US stock market. In my early days of investing, I've also used the learn area where they have tons of beginner-friendly topics on investing. A few examples, how to read an earnings report. How does the US market work? How to buy a US stock? 
and so, so much more. I, for one, have had a great experience using Momo Singapore B, whether it's the mobile app or the desktop version, to invest with thus far. With the Singapore REITs I've invested into, I'm also able to see the dividends calendar, showing the dividends announced and when it will be distributed. These are just some of the features I appreciate having on Momo Singapore's platform. By this point of the video, if you're inclined to try out Momo Singapore, an affiliate sign up link is down in the description box below. But if not, just go ahead and try out platforms that you are inclined to go with. I hope with what I've shared today, you get to understand what's the thought process behind it to choose and evaluate which platform should you start your investment journey on because it's definitely an important decision to make. If you have any questions, as always, pop it down in the comment section below or you can head over to Instagram, direct message me over there and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.